At Tech Team, under our Rest in Peace brand, we manufacture a whole range of brackets, fittings, and products that are designed to um, allow you to attach a headboard or a footboard to your metal bed frame. These products range from bed frame extension pieces like these to various brackets that allow you to attach various types of headboards of varying sizes to uh, bed frames of varying sizes. One of the most common challenges affecting a homeowner or an apartment dweller is to get a headboard or a footboard to make up to the bed frame. A tech team, we want that to be a seamless, easy project that leaves us with a happy customer. A tech team, after literally thousands of customer interactions involving fitting a headboard to a bed frame, we have come to the conclusion that to have a really good customer experience, it's important to be knowledgeable. What that means is knowing how and why a bed frame is made the way it's made and the dimensions that are involved. And the same thing with the headboard or footboard. The first thing you have to realize is that there is no such thing as a standard bed frame. They're made by dozens of factories in China, maybe even hundreds. And each factory has their own idea how to do things. And the only thing that you can rest assured is absolutely standard and consistent across all bed frames is the width. What we're really talking about, of course, are the uh, dimensions of the box springs because, let's face it, nobody's going to drop a mattress into this. You need the box spring to support the mattress. Fortunately, box springs over the years have pretty much become standardized and therefore we get consistency from manufacturer to manufacturer in the width of the frame and its ability to hold various size box springs. You will note these various slat and eye cutouts along the frame. These are for adjusting the width so you could change this from a probably a, a twin to a double to a queen and maybe even a king. You're going to find that that's pretty much a standard feature on uh, all bed frames. What's not going to be standard is the length of the frame. Here this one is showing at uh, roughly 70 inches, but others will be maybe a little bit shorter or a little bit longer. Depends on the manufacturer. On one end, most will have a bracket that is maybe the same as this, but certainly similar. And this has, as you notice, has slots in it so you can adjust the attachment hardware for attaching headboards of different widths. But there's no guarantee your headboard is going to be the right width to fit on this particular bracket. At the other end, you're probably going to find a plain angular piece of steel like this with uh, no fittings on it or no brackets. And you're also going to find that the frame, as mentioned before, is only about 70 inches long. Now we need to take a look at a standard mattress, which of course also means box spring, size and dimension chart. The most important takeaways from this chart are that, number one, a twin bed and a full bed are 75 inches long, while a queen and a king are 80 inches long. That goes a long way to explain why the frame is only 70 inches long. If they were made 80 inches long and you tried to put a twin or full-size box spring on it, you would have that raw, sharp end sticking out. This frame is showing at 60 inches wide, which means that we're set up for a queen-size box spring. We're showing that our headboard is 61 inches across, and that means it's uh, going to be a close fit for this particular bed frame. However, what we really want to know is the width across these outer sets of uh, slots or holes. And right here we're showing at 58 inches. Now we need to compare that 58 inch measurement to the measurement across the slots and the brackets on the end of the frame. Fortunately, what we're showing here is that roughly the center of the slot on each side to the center of the slot on the other side is about 58 inches. So that means we'll be able to make this headboard up to this particular um, frame. Now that you know what measurements are really important so that you can get your headboard or footboard made up to this bed frame, 
And since we publish all the relevant dimensions for our various brackets and hardware, you'll be able to make a good educated decision on exactly what hardware to buy to get your headboard set up to your frame.